Hi, my name is Jared. Uh, I'm going to show you how to fit uh, a wood gear onto an arbor. Okay, now this is not an actual wood gear, but this could be an arbor piece of wood. It doesn't fit the hole very well. That's the moral of the story. Now you can press these things in or pound them in to your gears, but gears tend to be kind of fragile. So the best thing to do, I think, is to size this. Well, you can use a caliper and make sure the high spots and sand them down you know, tall. That's one way to do it, but that's kind of the hard way to do it. I'll show you the easier way. We'll take our battery drill. We'll put it on its lowest setting. Okay. Now, the thing is, when you put a piece of wood like this into a chuck, you don't want to put a lot of force on it. Just enough to grip it. Okay. And we'll take a piece of sandpaper. Run it back and forth. Try it out in the hole. And it's okay for the first little bit, but it needs a little more work. That's better. Let's do the other end. A little more. Try it again in the hole. That's not too shabby. The other end. That's not too shabby. Still a little tight, but here's what we can do. We can actually work it. Say if there's a line. We marked a line here with a pencil. I don't have one. Let me get a pencil. Nah, skip. We'll put an imaginary line there. We'll run it up to the imaginary line by spinning it and pushing it in. Okay, now you can undo the clutch. Now it's to your imaginary line, and it's still quite tight. You can't turn that by hand, which means it's plenty tight enough for an an arbor and a gear without slipping. That's it.